Hi there. I'm on a bit of a favourite field of mine. It is very big. There's Roman bits all over the place, but I've never really found a hot spot. It's a lot of ground to cover for the odd bit, the odd coin here, the odd brooch there. It's very hard to know where to start. But I think I may have found an area and I'm just going to show you. I've got the Deus 2 with me. I'm using the sensitive program number three, a little bit adapted. I, to, to make it a bit more like what I'm used to, I completely open the discrimination to minus 6.4. I like hearing a load of stuff. I don't, I know most people use it in the, in the proper default setting, discrimination plus 6.5 or something. I can't do that. I need to hear all the iron and it's important somewhere like here. Listen to this. Little bit of iron here and there. Got a new wire for my speaker, it's not working very well. <laughs> Nothing to get too excited about at the moment. But as I said, there's, st there's stuff all over the place. So you, you might well find a little coin or a little brooch or something, but it's not in a particularly major area. Anyhow, I'll show you what it sounds now. About 20 meters that way, it gets a bit more interesting. And I'm sure we'll find stuff today. So this section's just basically piqued my interest a bit. And it might be worth concentrating on this section. I thought that might be Sammy and where it's not. Keep your eyes peeled for pottery. Well, it's the most beautiful day. It's, it's a bit cloudy, it's just calm, there's no wind. Have no fear, that'll change. Now, I've already found something really cool. And this bloody speaker's playing up, I am sorry. I'm not sure I'm ever going to get it to work properly again. Now that has got to be a coin. 100% here, there's no rubbish. It's too far away from where there were some cartridges over there. And it just sounds absolutely perfect and I'm in the spot. I know I'm in the spot now. Well, it's not a coin, but it's old copper. Well, I don't know what that is. It's probably a strap end of sorts. I don't know. I think that's a strap end. Anyway, I think I may have found a Celtic bronze coin. I often think that these funny little coins are Celtic. But more often than not, they turn out to be barbarous, barbarous coins. But I have found the old scam silver Celtic here. Now this, I don't think that's barbarous. I think that's proper Celtic bronze. Um, I don't know why particularly. Quite often Celtic coins are slightly domed, slightly concave or convex. Um, that I think has got to be Celtic. And that's really exciting because usually the Celtic bronze coins I find are not in very good condition. They're hardly you could hardly decipher a bull at all, but I reckon that's definitely got Celtic Iron Age Britain written all over it. And more importantly, there's a load of information on it. We'll, we'll definitely get what that is. And so I'm absolutely thrilled. That's made my day already. I found very few Celtic bronze coins and very few ones that I can see anything on. So just this is the area. It's just finding pitch than it should be. I'm gonna feel I'm gonna to have to turn this off fairly soon. This new wire is just not working at all and I'm afraid it's gonna break the jack. Um we will try it just a really proper coin a second. Now that's probably another tiddler very close to the surface. I'm just at the moment waiting for a bigger bite and I've just had one. And it is an absolute 
stonker, but let's just get this one first. <laughs> I mean, there, it's great fun finding all these. I'll show you all the others now. Um, I reckon that's a barbarous radiant of Claudius. I can see a CL. It's quite smooth. Um, it w it'll clean up a bit, not much, because it's just smooth through wear, really. Um, but again, another nice little third century Roman coin. And look, I've got a handful of them. One's quite nice. A lot of them are, are, have got the, um, the emperor dragging the child out of the cave or looking after the child from the burning building like Fireman Sam. So I think those are a bit later. I think that's Valentinian or Valens, and that's late 4th century, or rather mid-late 4th century. But look at this one. Now this absolutely, you're not going to admit, you're not going to miss this. Well, that's my spade. Hang on. It's a follis. It's a follis of Maximium. And I know that because it is absolutely plain as the eye can see. Maximianus. It's got him on one side and there'll be Genio on the other, or more than likely, because that is, um, that's this sort of type. Like I said, G-E-N-I-O, so yes. And even the mint will be fairly clear. Um, I mean, that's just an absolutely lovely coin. It would have been silvered at one point, and you can sort of see where it has been silvered. Mac Imp Maximin Maximinius Org. I mean, God, that is just, that's worth coming out for, just that. That's a lovely, lovely coin in an amazing condition. That's about 2995, probably. He was emperor alongside Diocletian um, in what was called the Tetrarchy, which I've talked about a lot recently. Um, and Diocletian bought these big, big coins in. Um, they were supposed to be silver. 15%, but usually they were just silver wash, but it would have looked very silver. Um, and th so these would have been the first type of this coin, this new follis that was introduced. It wasn't called a follis at the time, it's called a follis later by us lot. I think it was commonly known as a numus or something like that. But they were nice big silver coins. This would have been your main big coin back in the day, back in sort of, you know, circa 300. And I'm absolutely thrilled. That's just made it all worth coming out for. That's a beauty. Put it in a proper, put it in a decent pocket, that one. Well, it's just a piece of lead. <laughs> Sorry. That sounds like it might be a bit bigger. It's a slightly longer sound. Could even be a cartridge. And it's still in there. Yeah, this is slightly more hopeful. I found, I don't know if you saw the video when I found the um, Mesolithic flint core. Well, I think I found several lithics in the same area now. I'll show you. My God, well, <laughs> That was a long way down for something sounding like that. But again, it's just a tiny little Roman coin. Well, not tiny. Um, and again, another little 4th century bronze, I would have thought. Um, not in the best condition. But my God, that really did sort of... <laughs> this machine, I mean, that's not a big coin. And yet, that really did ring up. Oh, 
no expert. Ow, I mean, God, they're sharp. I, I really am no expert on this. On these. Oh, look, and, and this is really, this is really good too. The idea was that you got a flint core and you started bashing it and you, and, and what came off it were these really sharp little, what they call lithics. Um, and you could probably even shave with them, um, cut things, scrape things. You could, very fine ones you could use to sew with. I'm sure that's what that is. I'm sure that's what that is as well. Again, you've got your core. Um, I'll, I'll leave a link to the video and you kept bashing it, bashing it, bashing it. And, and what came off it were these sort of fragments, sharp, razor sharp fragments like that. And then this, this is Samian ware. Basically, it's posh Roman pottery. It's got a very, very, very shiny, or would have been shiny, red glaze on it. It's an ox blood coloured red glaze. And that's a really proper bit. Now, that's the best sign you could possibly get when it comes to Roman pottery. Um, a nice piece of Samian ware like that. So I'm thrilled. It's just finding... It's not the same direction as the sun. Or rather, it's the wrong direction. So I hope you can see me and hear me. Now, I'm still learning this machine. And that might be horrible. But it's very different from anything else I've dug today. So, let's just see. It's probably tin can. You can see where the maize stalks are still here. And it's deep, whatever it is, but then I don't, that's not surprising me with this. <laughs> I'm quite excited because it really is. <sighs> that's a punchy signal to sort the of crotal bell territory. You know. <laughs> no wonder it made that sound. I mean, my God. <sighs> I have said it before. Crotal bells, cisterciuses, and cartwheel pennies all sound very similar. And I'm not surprised that picked that up. I mean, my God, that is something else. It's an absolute stonker. It's a huge, great cistercius. Now, it's got a quite a lot of well I'm going to be able to get quite a lot off that not at the moment because it, I could actually some of that is really quite caked on but I can see I think I can see Ninus on that side which would mean Antoninus Pius more than more than likely and I found a Dupondius of his not that far away a couple of about a month or so a couple of months ago so this might be the big brother my god look at that Well, that really has that and that, that and that, um, and that follis. I mean, two huge coins. Well, we'll go back to headquarters with this now and we'll have a look at all three of the good coins I've found so far today. The Celtic one, the, um, and the, um, the Maximian, the Maximian and the I mean, absolutely beautiful. Let's go. Wow, I'm, I'm quite ex... Hi there and welcome to headquarters. One for the life of me anywhere. Believe it or not, I've cleaned up this desk and, and it's just gone missing. I've got Roman coins all over the place. I've got little trays of them there. I've got a load just here, which I put to one side because I wanted to give them a clean. There's another pile just there. And it's just got lost amongst all those. But suffice to say, on closer inspection, I'm not sure if it was Celtic or not. It could have been barbarous. It was a very tricky one. Um, as soon as I find it, I will include it in the headquarters section and we'll have a closer look at it then. But these two coins, I mean, the Cistercia, the best large Roman coin I've ever found, without, without a doubt. I mean, it's absolutely wonderful. I'll show it to you in a minute. And this one's pretty damn good as well. Now it is, it's a follis. It's what we call a follis. Even though it was not called a follis at the time, it was, we think it was probably referred to as a numus or numus, N-U-M-M-U-S. Um, 
but but again we're not 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 a hundred percent it was a coin bought in by diocletian who was co-emperor of this guy maximian they were co-emperors from i think 296 to 305 and they were they were the they were the founders of what was called the tetrarchy now i'm not going to bore you with that now because because i've done several videos talking about it but suffice to say that these two guys were pretty much the first lip of coin it was a large coin it would have been it would have been very silvered i'm not sure if it ever was it, i'm not sure if it, the core ever was silver it would have had a proper silver wash on it and it was and it would have been the predominant coin of its day as soon as we get to constantine and beyond um folluses are basically these tiny little coins i mean that's what they that's what they they get reduced to even though constantine himself you certainly get coins with him of this of this size but anyway it is maximian and it's an absolutely fabulous coin i mean it's just wonderful looks like it was dropped yesterday um the reverse is not quite as good and could benefit from a clean um and it's genio it says i've got, I've got it actually up here g-e-n-i-o was was one's personal deity personal guardian i think everyone had a genio but this one is the genio of rome and it's modelled, and and the statue you get, and you get the you get them in, but Constantine, Constantius, all of them, they all have this thing. That it's depicting a statue which used to stand in the Forum at Rome. No one's seen it. It disappeared long, long ago. Um, I don't know. I don't think we know when, when it disappeared. Existent now, but we've got pictures of it here, and it is the genius of Rome. It's the statue of the genius of that. And <laughs> I did a bit of research on it here. Um, I, I I knew about genios, being the deity genius, but I didn't know that, that there was a statue. Um, and it says here, the reverse is modelled off the famous statue of the spirit of the Roman people. Um, and I think that's what it is. It's G my God. Um, this is the best cistercius, as I said, I've ever found. Now, I do somewhere, oh God, not so annoying. I've cleaned everything up, but I used to have a coin here which showed you what cistercius do normally look like when you find them in this country. And they're big and smooth, and you can vaguely see a portrait usually. It's very rare they come out like this. I mean, I'm absolutely gobsmacked. It's Antoninus Pius, who reigned between 136 and 161, I think, or something like that. Middle was the third of the five good emperors after Nerva and Trajan, and in turn, or was he the fourth? Yes, he was the fourth of the five good emperors. You had Nerva, Trajan, Hadrian, this guy, and then Marcus Aurelius who was his adopted son now i just want to show you something very quickly here please bear with me it won't last long but if you if you want to fast forward i completely understand i'm going to show you something i'm going to show you how i cleaned this because it had as you as i should bust and i started experimenting with this now this is the brass um the brass nib, as it were, of, of what comes with your con the composite cleaning pencil. You've got a, a white one, which is quite tough, a black one, which is softer, and then this, which is me metallic. Now, just bear with me, and I suspect some of you are going to start screaming, you can't do put metal against metal on coins. Well, I've used this now with some, some success, I've got to say. I, it's certain, you can't use it on every coin, but some of these coins really benefit from it. Now, there's, you don't want it to be too sharp, but do sharpen it, just very, but, but if you do want to sharpen these, just use a bit of sandpaper. I've sharpened this one already. You don't want it too sharp. You don't want to scratch the metal. But once you've ascertained that your coin can take a bit of this, and that's really up to you. Don't, if, you, if, you, if you're nervous, just don't do it. But the, you can boss this around a bit as well. I'll show you. Um, if you're hitting, if you're, just don't push it too hard. And when you start feeling it to be smooth, stop. Don't, 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 don't add any more force. If it's a bit rough and you reckon it can take it, you can start scraping slightly. And as soon as it becomes smooth, just take the pressure off completely. I'll show you. We'll just go around some of the lettering, and I've also left a bit of crumb, which I'm going to remove for you now. Um, and you literally, you know, you can actually give it more force than you think. I mean, I've been around the whole of this coin now, and doing, doing it like this. Now, just with your fingers, just wipe away regularly where, over where you've been, just to check. And if you think it looks like at all like you're, mo like you're, you're getting into the actual coin itself, 
or the outer crust, or you can feel that it's the, the coin's getting much lighter because you're going through the patina, then stop. Stop there and then. The coin can't take it. But this coin bloody well can take it. And I've just gone, um, you know, I've, I've basically cleaned the whole lot. The whole of one side looked like this. And I just went round again and again and again, just scraping away where I felt it was raised and a bit nasty and just taking it off with my hand. And then as soon as it became smooth, just can just completely relax the pressure and just take it off and you just come out. I mean, it's just worked absolute wonders. And I've still got a bit to do on this. Um, and, if you, and if you're nervous, just stop. Okay, we'll fast forward quick. And, um, amazing that you can't do it some of these coins are just some of these coins are just too soft they, it won't let you but this one you can you can hear where it's just scratch 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 and as soon as it becomes smooth you stop go around the letters i mean look at i mean that if you're worried about it then don't do it but it's just I mean, this is an incredible tool. Now, you may notice I'm not using it in the pen. You've got to be so delicate and fine with this. I prefer when I'm using the brass one just to use my fingers. In fact, I'm running out. This is the last one I've got. Graham, if you're watching, I'm going to write to you because I need some, more of the, <laughs> need some more of the brass ones. Let me show you. Let's just do it. I've got a coin here. Now this, funnily enough, it's another numbers. And it's of, it's only half one, so I don't really mind risking this. It's of... Constantius, Constantine the Great's father. Now, I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. Here it is. Here it is before. Now, this doesn't, you know, th this is not going to maybe have the strength of that one, but we'll see. Just go around, removing all the dirt and the crud. It's more, it's more efficient than, than, the, than the other two. But it is a bit more... You don't want to. I mean, I can see already. I'm actually going through slightly to the copper, but I don't mind. That's what it would have been originally. Um, and it's just doing a brilliant job. I probably wouldn't do it on a coin of massive value, um, even though that fared really well. This is going to fare less well. Um. Um, I can now see Constantius really clearly. I'm taking all around. I'm even move, going across to his sort of diadem, his crown, um, around his nose. I can see clearly now the N for knob, which means that this coin was made when he was Caesar and not emperor. Um, he would have been um, under Maximian emperor and, and, and Constantius, Constantius was his Caesar. Anyway minutes on that and look I mean if, it, if you're worried about using it just don't but if you're gentle with it and little tiny rubs and keep with your finger just brushing away what you've done already this is a bloody handy tool don't make it too 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 sharp then you will you will scratch you almost want it to be have a little bit of a um you almost want it to be quite blunt because you, you so as not really not to scratch it i think we've done a really good job on these and i've done a an exceptional job on that and i'm really pleased because as i said it's do nice and gently i don't want to rush it um and the, sadly there's not much on the reverse i don't even know who she is um but i haven't even started that that side so um but that's just wonderful what a coin Anyway, thank you very much for listening to that, and let's go back to the fields. Just is busier though, but I reckon that might be another coin. <sighs> well, it's in there. And sure enough, there it is. Another little Roman coin. My God, I've found about 
10, 11 of these little ones now. Beautiful. Does remind me of the guy I always say it, sorry, who found so many Roman coins on one video that I had. Had a bit of a, a few misses recently, so I thought I'd just dig it anyway. But it's a lovely, it's a much bigger one, and it's an earlier one. I think it's Corbusius looking at his. Um, looking at a portrait because he's chuff and bullheaded and mean and thuggish. And that brings it to about 289, 289, 290. Um, it's just a nicer coin, this. It's a bigger one. Um, I think it would probably have been an Antoninianus, a silver coin. Um, I'm really pleased that I can sort of see Carol's, I think, on it. Um, yeah, C A R A U S. Yeah, it is Corbusius, and not much on the reverse, but once again, it's a lovely coin. Gosh, well, brings the tally to about 14 now. Well, I'm still learning this machine. So that sounds quite nice, you get a lot of falsing, I think I've said it before. You've got to go round and round and round, and if it's... Nice all the way around, then it's a decent signal, and if it's not, more often than not, it's iron. Now, don't you think that's... Oh, it just sounds nice. Sounds nice and deep. Not that it really matters when you're in cultivated land. Now, am I going to be proven wrong? This is iron, after all. Getting used to the iron. Taking me a bit of time, I won't mind telling you. Pinpointing well today. Yeah, I think it will be in this one. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? Doesn't get much better than that. Come on. Ah, just a big button. I thought it might have been another big Roman follis. It's, it's that. It's that sort of size. Oh, gonna be fun this machine. I've got to say. But that's what it is. Ah, look at that. I got excited there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.